What's up guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we are back with some LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga! This is Episode 6, Chapter 5, Jedi Destiny Free Play! This is the second to last of the free play, we only have 20 total minikits left, and we're gonna get 10 of them in this video. We're also gonna get a red brick for the 10x stud multiplier, and of course we're gonna get some gold bricks as well for getting that true Jedi and of course collecting everything. So we're gonna start things off by fighting against the Emperor. And we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of ground pounds or, you know, I like Forlom and his bomb, 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 bombs. As you can see, if you get good aim here, which I am lacking in the get goodery, but uh, if you can toss it just right, it actually blows up even if he is smacking you with that electricity. As soon as you take off a five of them hearts, he's gonna run off and uh, take cover, and we're gonna go ahead and use the foals on the back side of the wall here. As you might have noticed, there are four squares that are kind of a dark maroon or black color that you can slip around, and if you can get them all lit up before they start to, uh, I guess, turn off, then you'll get that red brick for the 10X stud multiplier. Now, uh, on the left-hand side, you might have noticed there was some bricks needing to be built. We built them up into a small ramp. We hopped up, and guess what? We got that first mini kit. Now, uh, don't forget to click that like button, not only here on this particular video, but also on the old Facebooks, as we do have a weekly giveaway. In fact, we just picked the weekly giveaway yesterday, and the winner has, uh, well, I guess, uh, accepted their winnings and uh, we'll be shipping that off in the next day or so uh, this week's was a poly bag and uh, some stickers so if you guys like Lego which I'm sure you probably do you might check us out on Facebook as that would be a good place to uh, earn some stuff now over on the left hand side we have smashed and built up a fan and that's the way the story wants us to go but we're gonna not do that just yet we're gonna go ahead and take a silver brick breaker and destroy these silver barrels on the far right side and build up a grapple point. That's gonna allow us to go ahead and get our grapple on. And look at that, Minikit number two is just sitting up there waiting for both me and you. All right, make your way into the center point here. There's a giant circle. We're gonna do lots of stuff here. Now I do apologize as there will be some overlap on some mini kits as the time goes on, but I'll explain it as I go and just follow along and you'll get everything, I promise. As you can see there, there's a weird silvery brick wall there. Take it out with a thermal detonator and it reveals a mini kit. Swoop it up. Make your way off to the first, I guess, detour around the edge of the big swinkle in the middle. We're going to find ourselves some stuffs on the wall. We blow up and it reveals a little hole that we can slide on through, get up top. And look at that. We can slide that box down the checkerboard path and it provides some bombs for us. Some much needed bombs that will open up the door to this secret room that has a whole bunch of mini kits. And in fact, there's three of them in here. So, uh, as I mentioned, there is a little bit of overlap in this video, and what I mean by that is, like, this particular spot right there, that that, uh, com that computer hacker spot there, it, uh, it's actually not relevant to the mini kit we're working on right now. But, follow along as it's all needed to go ahead, and, and we just find that this was a really efficient way of doing it. So, uh, go ahead and hack that panel in the bottom left hand corner of the room smash the boxes in the middle of the room build up the turnstile here which we can push around here in a minute we're not ready for that we actually need a box to drop down uh, did you notice I moved this chair on the right to the left and then two from the left to the right stacking them all up and now we've got three we'll use those in a hot second now there's a bunch of silver panels on the walls here we're gonna want to take those out with some thermal detonation and of course, they leave behind some bricks. We can build that up to a hack panel and booyaka shao. Mini kit number four is officially ours. Now, right next to that, there's a grapple point. Get your grapple on and get up top. And look at that, it has revealed some bricks as well as a lever. Go ahead and pull the lever and look at that, it dropped those other bricks I was speaking of. We're gonna need that box here in a second. Now that's a tricky jump here. You can double jump up and around the corner. If you miss it, you can always use those chairs that you stacked up right there, all three of them. Now, there's two pieces. Did you notice there's a big stack up top that I did? And then there's that one, the, it's the door. The door's over on the left. It is a funny angle, so be careful and make sure if you can't get through the hobbit hole, it's because you probably need to attach the door. Once you get through that hole though, you can see there is a silver wall. Take it down and collect that mini kit for your troubles. All right, back outside, we have a bunch of bricks bouncing that fell from the ceiling. We'll go ahead and build those up. Now, those bricks fell from the lever up on the high left side there. 
just in case you missed that a second ago. Go ahead and build that box, push it onto the green panel there, and flip the turnstile. It actually won't let you push it any further than it needs to go, and it won't let you push the box off until you get it to where it needs to go. And Hey, we on the gram if you am. I know that was a little late on the pop-up there, but uh, definitely check us out on the social media. All of our links can be found down below in the video description. This guy's just going to need to be pushed around and slipped right into that spot. That's right. Uh, once you get there, you can follow the arrows and look at that. We've got ourselves an elevator that's working now. And because we use that switch or that hack panel in the bottom left hand corner of the room, we have access to the liver up on the top left. And now we've got uh, no more force fields blocking us from mini kit number six. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. Now, there is some more stuff you can do in here to open up that. I'm not worried about it. It's one blue. I know I got to get them all, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that one behind for somebody else to collect. So guess what? We are out of here. So, uh, yeah, we do have quick links down below in the video description as well. If you're in a hurry, mini kit number seven is next. But guess what? We're already there, so no need to press those links. Now, make your way around the centerpiece again, and you'll find a bounty hunter hack terminal. Go ahead and get your hack on, and it reveals some bouncing bricks that we can actually build into another robot terminal. Go ahead and use either 4LOM or 3PO or whoever you got, and go ahead and uh, it'll build the bridge and allow you to build up a mini kit number seven. All right. So here we go. We've got one more of these weird silver wonky doors. We'll take that out. Now, inside, there is another hack terminal. This one happens to be a stormtrooper. Now, see those bricks bouncing on the left side of the mini kit there? That is actually what we just did. They would not be there if we would have not flipped that, well, I guess, hacked that panel. Uh, we're going to need that for a mini kit later. That's actually mini kit 10. But again, uh, you know, just follow along. Make sure you do what we do and you won't have to run around. Now, I will mention it again once we get there for those who use the quick links and skipped all this. But All right, some more smashing and grabbing and building on the right-hand side. You can see we've actually built up a little uh, a ledge there. And we also got a terminal that we can hack with the bounty hunter. That gave us access up top. Now we can get our float on with our droid of choice. And check it, check it out. We are officially ready to go inside and play a little game of hopscotch here. In fact, uh, it'll help out if you take out the two big panels on either sides of the wall. You can see that the uh, thermal detonator seems to work the best, and you might need to toss a couple to remove them, but if you aim properly, you should be good to go. Now, once all four of those have been removed, you can go ahead and run a swinkle around the room here, yeah, and once you light up all green panels, it's gonna go ahead and reward you with the mini kit. For us, it was number nine, and we are doing just fine. Now, you can see up above, we've got all those red glowy bits. That's actually where the Emperor is right now. We're going to float up there using that fan we built in the very beginning. Now, there is, uh, you know, definitely a need to go ahead and get up here and do all this. We actually messed this up, and I had to replay this level because I couldn't figure this one out. Go ahead and use the force on all 10 of those red-like panels. It should drop some bricks back on this ledge that we just came down. It is a bounty hunter terminal. We're going to go ahead and get our hack on with four llama. And now you can see on the right side of the mini kit, there are some bricks bouncing too. That is very important as you need those. So uh, hack the red panels in the back. That'll give you the bricks to build the bounty hunter up. And there you go. You should have what you need up above. Now we just need to make our way. We basically need to fight him and make our way over to the elevator that uh, currently does not work, but it will here in a second once he goes up top. And once we do that, uh, there are a couple of uh, barrels you can see, like the, those ones in the back left corner up there. We need to smash some more just like that, and it'll give us some more bricks that we can build up. And then we should be able to assemble what we need to do to take him down. Actually, we're getting the mini kit, and then we'll take him down. All right, back uh, around we go. We got to go back to that elevator, so here we go. Remember I told you? Uh, yep, this is, we got a couple of mini kits over in this area already, but uh, we're gonna, we got to get that last guy up top. So he has officially fled up top after depleting a couple more of them hearts. Oh wait, he's back for more. Oh no, he sent some of his guards. I found that these guards are a pain in the old tuchus, but the thermal detonators actually blow them up rather nicely. Now, if you guys have some other methods that you like to use, please drop a comment down below and let us know as we do still have the challenge and the super stories and we're probably gonna run into some guys along the way so any tips you guys have would be super helpful all right there we smashed one group of barrels on the left and build those bricks up we're gonna go ahead and build the two up in the middle that we already got from flipping the levers and other spots or I guess hacking terminals I shouldn't say levers uh, now, now you notice we built them all up, and the two middle ones that we got from earlier are actually blue. We need to use the force on them, 
And uh, well, actually, they're glowing blue. We need to turn them to really be blue. I, I guess I'm confusing myself by saying that. Anyways, just use the force already and then get your mini kit and woo to the hoo. That should be it. We only got one more level of collectibles left. Uh, go ahead and deplete it the last couple of meters there. And uh, oh gosh, I'm struggling big time with this. I'm trying to use the old thermal detonators because they worked well for me, but my aim, not so good. All right, one last one. Here we go. Booyaka show. Hey, check it out. We got the score times 10 red brick. on oh, that sucker cost 20 million studs. Are you kidding me? Good thing we've got a bunch and uh, they're going to stack up rather fast. I, you know, I don't know if we're going to have enough to buy it uh, between now and the next start. But uh, psych, guess what? We I don't, I don't think we do. I've already played the level, but I don't know. You'll have to wait and see if we bought it or not. Uh, all right, so we got some mini kits. They're going to build up some sort of a ship here. I know that Todd or Barry will do me some justice and tell me what the name of that ship is down below in the description there. Or in the comment section. God, I am fumbling everything. Good thing I'm not a flip. All right, we got a couple of gold bricks. They gave us some key-ish, and we're just shy of getting that 20 million for that 10x. But hey, that is going to wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga Episode 6, Chapter 5 Free Play! It was Jedi Destiny, in case you were wondering what the name of it was. Uh, but yeah, we had fun, we got collectibles, and we are in the home stretch of Free Play! We only got one more left, guys! I can't wait. Until next time! Bye.